Hello everyone, uh, as you can see, we've got the Echo Glow out. Uh, this is an Amazon device. Uh, I recently picked it up for like um, $10 or whatever. Uh, it normally goes for about 30. And what I'm gonna do is talk a little bit about how I currently use it. Uh, it is a great addition to your smart home. And the great thing about using it with a uh, digital assistant is the fact that you can merge multiple different types of uh, brands together in your smart home. So as you can see, we're gonna be using our Echo Glow, but we're also going to be using a motion sensor, and this is from Philips Hue, uh, the, I should say the Philips Hue line. Uh, and I use this right now in my upstairs hallway. Uh, that way I know uh, when my daughter gets out of bed at night uh, and uh, my wife and I are watching TV or movies downstairs that may be inappropriate for a younger child to be exposed to. So um, I like having this so it gives us that advanced warning. Uh, previous to using the Echo Glow, what I would do is just have an alert that shows up on my phone or my watch. Uh, but there are times where I'm just not paying attention to it because I just get like tons of alerts. Uh, so I've actually got this set up above the TV. It's kind of hidden a little bit. Uh, and when it goes up, when there's, when it detects motion, it uh, basically has a siren type color, so it goes, alternates between red and blue, uh, and uh, it goes off so we can see that while we're watching TV, so it's kind of cool. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about setting up um, how to make that actually happen with this motion sensor. It'll work with pretty much any other motion sensor as well uh, that works with the uh, in the Amazon Echo line or... I don't want to say I don't want to say the Amazon digital assistance name so it doesn't go off in your house. Uh, I hate it when that happens. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set that up. So we'll go ahead and put our motion sensor. We'll go ahead and put it in backwards here, and we'll go ahead and get the phone. And if you have any questions while we're going through this, make sure to ask down below. And you will need to have the uh, the Amazon um, digital assistant app installed on your. Uh, device already and we'll go ahead and bring that up and in my previous video I talked about how to set up the the device it's actually pretty simple uh, so let me do this first we'll go ahead and turn on the screen recording here all right, so uh, we've got the device here. Um, I'm already logged in to the app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new routine and we're gonna go to more and click on routines. As you can see, I've got hall movement set up already. We're gonna go ahead and click on new. And we'll give it a name and we'll just call this one YouTube <laughs> just for right now, uh, but in your uh, usage, you'll call it like movement in a specific room or a specific area in your house, or you can call it, what it do whatever you want. So what we're going to do first is we're going to say when this happens, so you can, the great thing about the routines is you can have it be uh, something that would manually go off, you can make happen, uh, but I'm going to use the smart home here, and I'm going to do the hall sensor, and when motion is detected, We'll click on next and time. Uh, I'm going to set it to any time right now. Uh, in my live example, I've actually got it going off between eight and midnight. So what we're going to do is add an action and we'll go ahead and go down to smart home. We'll go to lights and this is called echo glow. That's what we called it in our example. And what we'll do is we'll turn on the power and mode. You can select whatever mode you want. Um, we'll go ahead and set it to siren for right now. Uh, that's what I've got it mostly set to. And we'll go ahead and click on next. And we're gonna add another action here. And we're gonna do a wait. And we'll go ahead, whoops, <laughs> we'll go ahead and set it. So we'll wait one minute. Actually, let's do 30, for our examples here, maybe we'll do like 15 seconds. I've got it going for a minute 
in mine at home uh, in, in my live example here and we're going to add one more and we're going to go back down to our smart home lights we'll go to our echo glow we're going to do power and this time we're going to set the power off because we don't want this thing going all the time and the first thing that we're going to have to, and the next thing we're going to have to do is reorder the um oops reorder this sometimes it's a little finicky come on there we go so uh basically when the hall sensor detects motion, which is what that sensor is, um, we'll go ahead and turn on the echo glow in siren mode. Then we'll wait 15 seconds and then we'll turn it off. So we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so it's been saved. Now let's see if it actually works. And there you go. <laughs> that's all there is to it uh, there was a little bit of a delay I think that might have been something to do with the fact that the, it hadn't been updated or whatnot yet and the time has gone off and now the device is off so let's go ahead and try that one more time come on there we go uh, it, it might have been how close I was but that's how sensitive it works and it works really well um, and that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions about setting up a routine with your Echo Glow, feel free to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, including home automation, as you can see here. But we also do other things as well, like electronics, going to theme parks, uh, Star Wars, Star Wars The Black Series, basically anything that a professional geek might find interesting. And with that, have a great day.